Wow. Holy be Jesus, that's for a secret rare? Oh my god. What's up guys and welcome back to another epic unboxing. And yes, this one is a highly, highly demanded, sought after set known as the Infinite Forbidden. For those that read the description over at Konami, they even mentioned this, where he's talked about the tournament held in the Tokyo Dome in Japan. Another leg. One more piece, the crowd is chanting, one more piece. We got the other arm, and all five pieces have been assembled. The legs, the arms, the head, Exodia obliterates. And with that being said, of course, now they're coming out with some more support cars. Look at this beauty right here of the Exodia, front and center. But there's other core centuries here that are also pretty damn good as well. Now, according to this description as well, they're talking about this Fusion Exodia card as well that can cancel one spell or trap activation of your choice every turn for free. What? That sounds insane. Now, obviously, guys, there's a bunch of pre-sale cards here of crazy, crazy values. Definitely won't be the same prices that you will see in a week's time, which I'll have both prices as I would per usual. But the pre-sale prices for the top three cards, and it could shift as well next week. But as of this recording session, because obviously the, the set comes out, I think, officially tomorrow. But of course, I get a little bit of a hookup and get a few days early to record. But yes, the number one value card from this set so far is Fiendship Engraver. Quarter century, of course, secret rare. The QCRs. Currently at the value of an insane $290.99. Cents. But the market price is actually where I'm concerned about. Not concerned, but what I should really kind of point out more. The market price is $394.00 and 96 cents so that's currently what's being sold for in the market but let's see how that fares in a week's time the second highest card is a card i'm going to try to pronounce as best i can uh merle charmy perulia i think <laughs> but yeah that card of course quarter century again at 218 dollars and 74 cents but the market price 242 dollars and 96 cents of course pre-sale prices the third highest is Fiend Ships Track, currently at the value at $113.74, with the market price being $144.96. Obviously, I have the prices for a week later as well, but those are the prices as of now. And there's quite a few cards. There's actually two more of the cards breaking $100 marks. Actually, maybe about four more cards actually at a big hundred dollar mark we have the tenpai dragon making some more cards here we have the some more fiend ships i believe fiend ships are new i don't i don't remember them i don't remember them from other sets but you, you always correct me up if i'm wrong in the comments diabelle is back the queen of the white forest great cards man great cards and i can't wait to get all of them all right here we go guys oh yeah now this is how the box should look. I like, I appreciate the, the differences when, when, when it came to the rarity collection too, but I, I like, I gotta go with the classic, the, the box design. Now, similar to my other previous video, I'm gonna save some for a future video, um, like a versus potentially with, the, the, with this set. I'm not sure what I'll use. I'll probably do some more research and see what I can use as a good versus, maybe an old school versus new school, but I'm gonna grab probably the left side here as i do per usual so if you have a suggestion of a versus let me know in the comments of what i should do with this one all right so i got 12 here but i'm, I'm gonna save two of these for a um a one pack pull as well so i'm gonna grab probably this one and maybe this one so definitely check out that one pack pull all right here we go got 10 packs here let's do this thing all right starting with the top top to the bottom all right. All right, guys. Let's see. I think it's four to the front. All right. We have the Not Crow Whip Princess. The Gimmick Puppet Little Soldiers. The Mansion of the Dreadful Dolls. Uh, Madolcha, Madolche? I think it's Madolche Mini Meow. Cowroos? Very cute, very cute. Um, Embla uh, Salvation. The Paralyzing Mushroom. 
the League of the Uniform Nomenclature Strikes, I guess. <laughs> the Dipsy Fiend. Ooh, I got it started, starting with the Ultra Rare here. The Light and Darkness Dragon Lord. That looks pretty beastly. And I can see the light and darkness. So yeah, makes sense. Not a great star, especially for an ultra rare. This one's only $2.74. So, you know, for an ultra rare, that's actually kind of bad. Kind of bad. All right, next one here. All right, here we go. We got the Dora Dora. The dragon's light and darkness, so it's probably a, um, I don't know, a, a way to use that card as well. Okay, I, I can only imagine with the same name nomenclature there. We have the uh, three in one. Is it not gonna? Okay, so. Now we have three in one. The uh, knight arm dragon, the armored knight dragon. Very cool. It kind of brings back like a like a looks like a Joey card. The Kaiser Dragon it kind of looks like him a little bit. Uh, the feet the fiend ship uh, It's like almost like Sanctuary, but like Sanch, I guess. The Mementolan uh, Sheepy She Sleepy. <laughs> the Cosmo Queen, the Queen of Prayers. Like I don't know why Yugi does this a lot. Like. Like, there's already a queen in there. Why, why, would, you, why would you emphasize the queen again? <laughs> but whatever. The DPH uh, Genda Moore. Super rare here only. Um, with the Varar, the Valmonica Concord. I, th I think I remember seeing them before. Looks familiar. At least a name. Maybe a maybe similar name, but like um, just different art, like support, I guess, for that. Archetype. This one's pretty bad at 68 cents only. 68 cents. Which is kind of expected. All right, guys, before we continue, obviously, we had to talk a little bit about the guy supporting this show right now, Dragon Shield. Do you have kids? Or do you have like siblings or cousins or nephews that come around and kind of, you know, take your packs and stuff like that and open them and have the dirty little paws? touching everything, probably breaking, ripping all these cards. Well, I do. But you don't need to worry about that with Dragon Sleeves. Now these, of course, will protect your cards, your investments to the future, potentially, hopefully, depending on if you sell it or not. But yeah, guys, if you guys want to help support the show, definitely check out that free link down below. It does go a long way having these weekly videos every single week and maybe even a few uh, extra here and there. Thank you to those who have supported us at clicking those links and of course, Protect those investments, guys. You never know when you might need it. But anyway, the rambling back to your boxing. All right, guys, here, next pack. Let's do this. I would definitely like to see the, uh, like some of these uh, Exodia um, cards that they're mentioning. Uh, like, I don't think there's very many. I think, I think it was just that one card, maybe. But we'll see. The Sengen, uh, Kaimo, Kaiho, the Drytron New the Second. We have the Zapper Shrimp. <laughs> Is that a shrimp <laughs> with a laser or something or a like sword? That's actually kind of like interesting. If, like if you want like to make like a sushi deck, I think this would be like a good addition to that. We have the uh, Blazing Bombardment Beast. Looks beastly. The Paralyzed Mushroom again. The Rusia, Rusia of the White Forest. Very cute, very cute. Obviously, if you want to read the description, you can always pause the video and whatnot. The Aerial Eater. Oops, show, <laughs> show the card. <laughs> but of course, it wasn't like great. Uh, we have the uh, Sir, uh, Service Puppet Play, and of course, a card we, we've seen, super rare, of the Kuebiko. Okay, probably not much. Wow, this is like the, one of the worst cards so far. At 34 cents. Kind of expected. Kind of expected. Yeah. Like, you, you, you're you not thinking about getting like a, a broom slash 
I don't know, scarecrow looking thing. All right, here we go. We have the uh, dark and evaporation dragon. The trap gatherer. The um, Madolce Mini, of course, makes a return. The uh, Necro Princess again makes a return. The Madolce Dessert. Cosmic Queen again with the Double Queen. I guess the Fiendship Lacrima, I guess. The Deep Sea Fiend. And a super rare, it looks like a, uh, a Blue Eye Soul Exchange card. <laughs> Spell card Soul Exchange. What the hell? Like. Make it. That's weird. I have a spell card known as Spell Card Soul Exchange. <laughs> Imagine they use an added deck. I gotta read it. I gotta read it because uh, it's kind of interesting. It says here uh, immediately after the effects resolves, tribute summon one monster and you can tribute monsters your opponent controls, even though you do not control them. Wait, what? You can add what? And you can tribute your, po your opponent's controlled. Interesting. That's actually kind of useful. But it cannot be attributed this turn. If this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, your opponent can apply this card's perceiving effects. Go activate one spell card soul exchange per turn. Terrible, terrible, yeah. 35 cents, so I guess with that price being so low, it's probably not useful, maybe. I don't know. Maybe there's a use for it. Because you let me know in the comments. Now I've noticed like uh, the price of these uh, boxes actually going up in value. I even had a, a buddy of mine um, who, who told me that yeah, you should probably get like a, try to get a case if you can, because the price of the case is definitely going up. Because he remembered it at around I think seven hundred or so, eight hundred maybe, and it's almost like a thousand now. So it's definitely going up in value, um, at least right now. We'll see how it goes in a week or two time, but yeah. Uh, we have the Gimmick Puppet Little Soldiers. Uh, Sylvia of the White Forest. Broomy! Yay! Makes a return. <laughs> oh my god. The Magic the Dreadful Dolls again. Uh, the Press Part. Uh, Fiendship Saint. Uh, Metrolia Dr Drytron. The Betten Bat. And a super rare here of the Mimi Ghoul Archfiend. We'll see, we'll see. As expected, 45 cents for this. Hopefully we got another ultra rare in here. All right. Valmonica creation. The Dora Dora. The Guardian of the Voiceless Voice. Um... The code Chobos Hinamachu Suru Suru Suri. Uh, the Fiend Ship Sequence. The Fiend's Reflection of the Millennium. Ooh. The Maiden of the Millennium Moon. All right, I've seen some Millennium archetypes here. The Gimmick Puppet uh, uh, Cattle Screen. <laughs> Look at that. Is that a machine? Yeah, it's a machine. Okay, I was. But yeah. Machine cow. Ooh, an ultra rare. Yes. Hopefully it's good. Uh, this 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 a blaster. Then Negatron Negatron Fortress, I guess. Pendulum summon though. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, so there is a quarter century rare of this card. But even the quarter century is not super great, so but it's still decent at $2. And 31 cents so far. Obviously, you probably already seen it, but um, obviously, I'm showing the, uh, you know, the prices of the week later as well. So, we'll, yeah, I guess we'll see how it is, you know, down the line. Because right now, this, that that's the pre-sale price. All right. We have the light and sublimination dragon. We have <laughs> that's ten. <laughs> okay, interesting. Uh, Sylvie makes a return. Three and one. The League of the Uniform Nomenclature strikes. The Salvation. The Sleepy. The Woes of the White Forest. And a super rare of the Gimmick Puppet. Um, fan fantastic. Fantastic. Machinic 
<laughs> oh man, these pronunciations are like I'm trying my best at pronunciations, but uh, you, you can always uh, correct from wrong. But that's a, that's a tricky one. That was a tricky one. All right, not great at all. Forty nine cents for this, so I can only imagine a week later is probably going to be a lot worse. We'll we'll see. Maybe my, my, it might have already bought bottomed out. Maybe I don't know. All right, we have three packs left. I definitely want to open more though. This is, a, this is actually a fun set because I actually I, I actually bought a bunch of boxes um, that I want to open for like a versus and whatnot. But this is more like a, a sneak peek for me um, as well as you guys. But of course, I know you guys want to see more. Definitely recommend checking out some of the YouTubers and just let me know like what cards I might have missed in the comments that maybe motivate me to open more of these. If you guys want to see more of this, also let me know as well because I'm down a little bit more. We have three in one. Um, the guy hole, the blazing bombardment. Ooh, this is a new one. Uh, this is a Vermina statue of the sacred dragon with that blue reflection. Cause he's a he's a beast. He's a boss. Uh, made in the Malayan moon. Friendship. The thing is actually not that bad so far from what I see as well. Uh, the matter forwarder, the D DPH, and ooh, a secret rare. Oh yes. And actually, this is the card that we're looking for, but of course, we want that in quarter century. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the card that everyone was talking about. Well, maybe not everyone, but um, at least a few people that I talked to in the, in the card shop. But let's read, let's read this card real quick before we look at the prices. So there's a couple of effects here. I'm going to zoom in. But there's two effects here. It says here, if you control no cards, there's a quick effect. You can discard this card. Apply its effects this turn. All right, so pretty much, yeah. Okay. Each time your opponent uh, normal or special summons a monster uh, from the hand, immediately draw one card. Okay. Each time, wow. Uh, once during the end phase, if the number of cards in your hand is more than the number of cards your opponent controls, plus six. Is that what I see here? Yeah, plus six. It's so small, the freaking text. Uh, you can randomly shuffle cards from your hand into the deck. So the number in your hand equals the number in your opponent controls plus six. You only have to activate one other effect. All right, let's see what the secret rare price for this one is. Wow. Holy be Jesus. That's for a secret rare? Oh my God. $59.66. So I definitely want to see the prices for this a week later, but that is an insane price for a secret rare. Insane. Wow. I, I was expecting it to be high. Maybe like 20 or so. But 59? Wow, okay. Where's my sleeve? Thanks to today's sponsor, we have we have sleeves to protect this. That is legit. Oh yeah. Protect your investments, guys. Protect it. Alright guys, two packs left. I don't, know, I don't know if we can top that unless we get a quarter century right here. Right now, with a quarter century, secret rare. It's a like for the luck. Come on. Man. And what I noticed too, as I mentioned before in other videos, like um, I typically see something like super great, like the bottom three, bottom four. But you know, we'll see. I mean, maybe that was the card. Uh, the Val Monica creation. The Vesper Jirisu. That's ten. The Drytron New, the second. The Press Part. Uh, Maroche, Dessert, the Drytron. The Gimmick Puppet Rogue uh, Doll. And it's super rare only. The Center Ion Atari. Atari! Looks cool though. Looks very cool. I, li I like the, the moon background. So, a lot, uh, honestly, a lot of these um, designs are really nice, you know. But uh, price wise as an investment, as a as a collector, not great, but looks cool. It's okay to look cool. It's okay to look cool. Not too bad, but still <laughs> terrible. <laughs> 62 cents. It looks cool though. I give I give it that. It has the cool factor. Alright, final pack, guys. Final pack. Let's do this. Press a like for luck. Alright. Can we get a final pack magic? And that opened very weird for me. I don't know why. Maybe it's good luck. All right. 
We have the Trap Gatherer. The Night Arm Dragon. Looks like, uh, I got, as I mentioned, a Joey card. The Moon of the Closed Heavens. The Zapper. <laughs> the Gimmick Puppet. Cattle. The White Forest. Oops, oops, oops. The Aerial Eater. The Fiend Reflection of the Millennium. And the card that we kind of saw, but not the card we're looking for. We kind of want the Exodia Fusion card. But this is, if I can read the text, Memento um, Memento Miklan uh, Tekulika Creation King. Did I pronounce it perfectly? Let me know in the comments. But it looks cool again, but I don't think it could be in the great. I'm not sure if they have like a different like color, but on the website, looks like they put the wrong card in there. Yeah, like they put the wrong card art in the website. <laughs> That's why I was confused. If this is right, this is only 59 cents. Yeah, for some reason, uh, TCG uh, player put the uh, TPH as the card holder for that card, but that's not the card. But yeah, we did pull at least one cool card from today's opening. Obviously, if you guys want to see more, let me know in the comments down below because I'm definitely down to open them because I have a bunch more. But yeah, this is the other box that I got, as I mentioned, obviously not open yet, and I'm down to open some more. But don't forget, we do have that second part for a versus down the road as well. So there might be some cool cars in there. But yeah, guys, that's all I got. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Definitely let me know uh, what you guys want to see for a future versus. And of course, if you want to see a previous box opening of the Phantom Nightmare. That was also pretty epic as well. Definitely check that out. Links down below. And I'll definitely see you next time. My name is Talos. Peace.